So Aquarius, you know, this person was dragging their feet, but that's changed. <laughs> that's no longer there. Um, so let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general your general love reading for uh, April, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they've been kind of feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera as i always say please take what resonates and leave what doesn't there we go and if this isn't your story if i don't pick up on your story stick around as uh sometimes there just could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you and of course just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction whoops of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so just give me a moment to just finish laying these cards <clears throat> oh, there we go all right so i'm going to take these in And I'll be back. So Aquarius, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so just, just touching on the past, the recent past for some of you as well. This could be, not even could be, this is someone that you deem, is someone who's very much highly attractive. They could be someone that, who's very much sought after as well, represented by the queen. This is how you think about them. This is your thoughts about them in the recent past. Very much someone who maybe has their stuff together as well, highly attractive, sought after by the opposite sex, same sex for some of you, but someone who's admired, but there is some judgment there that you did have towards um, this person. We've got the four of cups there, which talks about you focusing on I feel like maybe for some of you, there was just this too much of a focus on this. You know, when someone's highly attractive and they've got so much admirers, you, t you tend to think of them as maybe, uh, you know, you, see, you kind of see it in a, maybe a negative way because you might think it reflects just how they are handed in certain things because they've got their barriers up or they had their barriers up with that queen, which we'll get to, to in a minute um yeah there's some form of epiphany or realization but definitely judgment towards them as well with, which you had to process digest this person i feel like it's tied to this person having up their barriers their boundaries they're guarded um doing just enough to maintain this relationship or just to kind of keep this relationship going i feel like that was more about them still sussing you out though still trying to figure out maybe who you was, we've got the Knight of Wands there, which talks about a lot of passion, a lot of desire, but again, it's still this decision or choice to make, because this person was still sussing you out, it's like, I'm going to keep this person at a, a distance to a degree, because I want to still try and figure out who they are, what their intention is, yeah, this person might have had experiences just in the past, which made them be very much cautious, could be down to their looks as well, how attractive they are. For some of you, it could be. You know, when you're highly attractive, you tend to attract, you know, maybe this person has their stuff together, just, just you know, in terms of maybe their career and stuff as well. But it brings us to where we are at the moment, which is represented by the world card. The world card talks about a change in perspective or perspective, let's say, that how you see things, you've gone through enough in order for you to know better, for you to see things in a different light, you've taken the journey, you've gained a different view of something. And that's pretty much represented where this relationship or connection currently is. You've gone through enough. It's gone through enough to maybe you've, you know, 
and when I say gone through enough, I mean maybe you've gone, you've you've been dealing with this person for six months, a year, longer, um, but just it's gone through enough. Regardless, it could be three months, ago, uh, but you've gone through enough to see. Uh, so it's made this person want to open up now. It's made this person be more ready than they was in the past. This person is represented by the ace. So they, they're like, okay, I've seen enough um, and I know what I want to do with my uh, Aquarius. I know that I'm ready to open up and offer this person, you know, love, ultimately. I'm not sure how quick that came around, though, because just based on how you're showing up, I feel like the time it took for you to, or I should say for this connection to get to where it is at the moment, this wild card, this change, it kind of left the doors open. It kind of left the windows open for you to be possibly distracted by someone else or for someone else to take your attention or hold your attention, um, for you to engage in just maybe others, just speaking to as well. Because if we look at your challenge, that talks about a choice that needs to be made. Now there's someone else that's entered the picture in the amount of time it's taken to get this connection to where it is now. Someone else has entered the picture for you and now it's kind of left you with a, a choice that you need to make. It's like, that's your challenge. That's in your challenge position. This choice that needs to be made now where with your person, yeah, there was indecisiveness in the past. And sometimes with certain decks, I see this as being, you know, this back and forth, hot and cold, indecisive. But with this specific deck, this talks about having made the decision, moving moving, moving forward with, with the idea of having, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? With the idea of having rested, <laughs> let's say that, let's use that word want of a better word, rested on one idea, one way of seeing something, one way of doing something. And your cha their challenge is, is actually now birthing what it is that they're now ready to offer, they're now ready to have with you. You might have presented this in the past to this person. And just because of the challenges that this person has possibly put you through with the queen, you know, and that's represented by the, look, we've got the queen, sorry, the king on top of that queen, which talks about, you know, having, you know, the, the queen is, the, the queen, the king is very much about, you know, this, the king, isn't it? You've reached the pinnacle of your, whatever it is, whatever tangible aspect of your life that you're working on or that you've been working on. And the tangible aspect for this person is this relationship, this connection. However, they was putting up their guards, their boundaries, because they just wasn't ready yet. Now it's a different story. Now they're ready. But, you know, uh, it, you know, you, you are you? That's the question. Are you? Now you're plagued with, you know, thoughts and ideas because it's caused you to feel kind of trapped now. You can't think of anything but the situation you're in because you're very much fully aware of something having needed or something ultimately eventually would have to come to an end whether it's this connection here with this person or this new this new thing or this new person that you're now uh, entertaining or have been entertaining or you're, you're engaged in that simply just could be having exchanged numbers but there's definitely someone else that's entered the picture for you Your person, your person is burdened by this. You know, of course, they sense a change. They sense a shift because we've got that being their challenge. So they're looking to transform. They're looking to change this, go, to, go through some form of rebirth. The death speaks about something ending, something coming to an end, the death. But with a death, with the ending comes a rebirth, a renewal, the beginning of something. So they're looking to transform this. Are they able to be successful? Who knows? Are you able to make the cho right choice? Who knows? So let's move into part two of the reading, the extended version, and we'll get a fuller picture. We'll clarify and see where this moves to, guys. Should be showing up on the screen as we speak or click on the link in the description bar or comment section. Um, and I shall see you guys in a bit.